Hey everyone, Armin from Hex. Today I'll be using Hex's native snowboard integration to analyze the city bike data set. I'll be trying to find the top 10 most trafficked stations, as well as the average trip duration across all of my stations. I'll be using Hex's SQL cells in conjunction with Snowbark data frames, and then even try to visualize a Snowbark data frame at the end. Let's jump into it. I've gone ahead and started with a Snowbark session. I've done this by simply going and getting a Snowbark session from our simple easy button. Go ahead and remove this for the time being. I've defined an extra large warehouse to be used, and then I'll jump into a SQL cell at this point. I'm gonna ask Hex to return this back as a Snowpark data frame. And if you're new to Snowpark, all this is really doing is telling Hex, hey, go give me just a preview of the data, since I don't wanna stream in you know, 20 million rows into my memory, and give me a reference to this table at this point, right? a reference to the query. As I scroll down, we'll denote this by a color of blue as the output, and this will also be called a Snowpark data frame right? as we highlight over it. What's neat about this is I can start weaving this kind of in a CT-like fashion, um, but Hex is actually gonna be managing this all under the hood for me. So I can do a query here where I'm gonna look at the um, most traffic stations or the top 10 most traffic stations, and I'll actually be referencing this TRIPS Snowpark data frame from above. In this particular case, since I know I only want the top 10, I'll just go ahead and get back a Pandas data frame and bring this into memory. Great, now I can go ahead and preview this data, and here we have you know the highest uh, trip count among the top 10 stations. This is sweet, but what if I wanted to actually visualize all of my data, right? The TRIPS data for, uh, Snowpark data frame above with 20 million rows. Well, what's neat is I can actually pass in a Snowpark data frame into the visual cells at hex. And let's go ahead and create another one where I'm gonna be looking at the trip duration per start stations. So let's go ahead and do that and grab the trip duration column. I'll ask for the average at this point. <clears throat> And Hex is now actually under the hood configuring all the compute and the query that has to be sent to Snowflake via Snowpark. And this is gonna be leveraging that extra large warehouse and very quickly give me this uh, chart with only the results streaming back into Hex at this point. Here I can see there's a very strong exponential curve uh, among the average trip durations. And maybe I want to, you know, let's say I wanted to zoom in here and maybe do some further analysis on these top few. I can quickly get a sense of that data and Hex is managing and creating this query for me without me having to actually understand all the inner workings of Snowpark, right? I have this visual aid. I can just rely on SQL at this point. In summary, I was able to leverage our Snowpark integration to very quickly create a Snowpark session, leverage a SQL cell without having to understand Snowpark syntax, weave that Snowpark data frame into other various uh, SQL cells where all of this compute is actually being handled by the extra large warehouse I had defined earlier, and then finally, I can go ahead and even visualize it. And then from here, if I wanted to further my analysis, maybe using a Python cell, other hex native cells, I can still weave in that TRIPS Snowpark data frame. Thanks for watching.